A great way to show off your images in WordPress or your photos in WordPress is to use the WordPress gallery. And what you can do with using the WordPress gallery is, just in the uh, demo site at the moment, if we actually go to uh, add a new post, we'll just quickly run through and I'll just show you uh, how you can enhance the WordPress gallery further using a light box. Okay, so let's put in a just a name, we'll call it a demo post. And add some media. So what we might do is look at uh, creating a gallery. So we can either upload files and then they'll automatically go into the gallery for our page and then we can insert the gallery. Otherwise you can create a gallery from the existing photos that you've already uploaded. So if we go create gallery, and what we'll do is we'll select some of these images. So let's go ahead and select select four images for our gallery and we'll create a new gallery okay so these are our four images in our gallery at the moment they link to the attachment page and we can either choose to link them to the actual file itself or to have no link so what you would notice here that we don't have is to to actually put them into a light box so let's go ahead and link them to the actual file We'll put them in uh, two columns. We've got four photos, and uh, we'll, we might leave them in the, the current order that they're in. So let's insert the gallery. So we have a gallery, it links to the file, the two columns, and there are our four IDs. So let's go ahead and preview. So here we have our demo post with our four images. So it's a good way to show them, but the problem is to actually uh, allow people to, to view the image bigger, they've got to click on the image, and then it takes them to this page that has the image, but it's actually a, a whole new page, and the only way to get back to the uh, website that they're on, your website is to use the back button on the browser. What we'd rather do is have that image load up in front of the actual content, so if we could click on that image and have it load up here in front of the content and they could just scroll through or close it down that would be ideal so the purpose of this article and this tutorial is to show you how to add a lightbox script to your WordPress site using Fancybox and to then show you how you can actually set it up so that it will show your gallery images this way as well so the first step to setting up the fancy box is to actually go to the fancy box website so that's fancybox.net and you'll notice straight away that, that they do have a new version and if you're looking to use fancy box as a script for your website for um, all kinds of content besides just images say uh, YouTube videos and iframes and uh, you know Google Maps and things like that then definitely go ahead and check out their new version uh, the license on the new version is a, a, a non-commercial license, so you do have to purchase a, a, a commercial license if you, you want to go ahead and use that. For the purpose of this tutorial though, I'm just going to show you the uh, past release, which is the old version, the original Fancy Box, uh, which is licensed under MIT and GPL. So to, to get a copy of that, all you need to do is click on this link here, and that will download the files in a zip folder. Once you've downloaded those files, you want to extract that zipped folder and you're looking for the fancy box folder. Okay, so once you've extracted the file, you'll be left with the jQuery fancy box folder like this. So if we double click inside there, you can see that there's a few different files there. All we actually need is this folder here, the fancy box folder. I double click in that you'll see that inside there's image files and there's fancy box scripts so what you need to do is simply extract the zip file from fancybox.net and then open it up and grab the fancy box folder and paste that into or upload that file into your child theme of your website and what I like to do is I'll go through here. Okay, so your child theme is located in WP content uh, inside your theme folder and then your child theme. So my suggestion is that you create a new folder 
called JS, so short for your JavaScripts, and then you double click inside that folder. Okay, and put your fancy box folder inside there. So the path to your fancy box files will be your child theme, JS folder, and then fancy box. So all your fancy box scripts will be in this folder here. So upload that into your website in that path. So child theme, JS folder, fancy box. Now the next step is to create a new file and what you want that file to look like is this. Okay, so this is a fancybox-scripts.js. So that fold that file that we're creating is going to go inside the fancybox folder as well, the one that you've just uploaded to your website. So it's basically a file to target the selectors and then apply the fancy box script to those selectors. So because it's uh, WordPress, we're using the jQuery document uh, ready function. And what we're doing is using a couple of selectors here. So I put down a.fancybox. So that's any link that has a class of fancy box. And also dot gallery item dot gallery icon a. So they're the links that WordPress applies to the markup for the actual WordPress gallery. So if we were to go back here and if we were to uh, inspect this element, okay, you would notice that uh, WordPress has applied uh, gallery ID, okay, and gallery class, and then you would see that each one of those, uh, each one of these items or each one of these images has a class of gallery item and then a class of gallery icon and inside that is the link so that there is targeting each one of these images and then what we're going to do is apply the fancy box script to it and we've just set a few options here you can uh, adjust those as you as you like the uh, information on the fancy box site uh, the API and options gives you a whole long list of uh, ways to uh, tweak the content uh, and how the script works to suit so to suit what you're after so you can go ahead and change those but basically you want an overlay opacity uh, color and uh, it's good to show the close button and, and enable escape button so people can get out of the the light box just simply by pressing escape or by uh, clicking on the close button. Now this little bit here, the attribute uh, rel posts gallery, what that is is we're going to apply um, an attribute to each of these classes of rel equals posts gallery and that will allow the fancy box when you open up the light box to actually scroll between the images because we're linking them with a rel equals post gallery. So once you've created the fancybox scripts.js file, you want to go ahead and put that inside, so upload that inside your fancybox folder on your uh, website in your child theme as well. So let's have a look. We'll go across to our uh, child theme just to see what it looks like using FTP and you can see here that I've got my uh, JS folder ready to go so I'm actually going to put that on the upload that onto the website now okay and you can see that inside that I have my fancy box folder and inside the fancy box folder I have my fancy box scripts that I've just created so that's this file here as well okay so the next now is to make sure that when our pages load, so our web pages load here, we can close this off now. When our web pages load, that they load the scripts for Fancybox. So we need to on-queue those scripts. To do that, we're going to edit our 
functions file in our child theme. So this is our functions file here. So go, go ahead and uh, open that up. And you can see I've got it here ready to go. What we do is we're going to on-queue the fancy box scripts and we're going to on-queue the uh, fancy box CSS file as well. So just create a simple function, uh, function fancy box scripts on queue. And we're going to on queue the style. So you give it a unique ID. So we'll just put down fancy box CSS. Now the path is important. So that's where you've uploaded the CSS file. So if you've uploaded that fancy box folder into a JS folder inside your child theme, then the path will be the child theme directory and you will have JS for your folder, FancyBox, and then the actual file name, so jQuery FancyBox CSS. So that unqueues the style sheet. Next, you want to unqueue the scripts, and the important ones, or well, the most important one, is the FancyBox script itself. So again, uh, give it a unique name, FancyBox, and it's in the child theme directory in the JS folder, FancyBox folder and the, the actual file is jQuery FancyBox 1.3.4 pack JS and then we want to set the condition that it doesn't load before jQuery is loaded so we put down the jQuery if you want to enable some of the other options and you don't have to unqueue these two files uh, but the jQuery easing file and the jQuery mouse file are two other files that uh, can be used by FancyBox for some of the options that are available for uh, customizing it and then finally you want to on queue if you if you um, if you want to upload those uh, sorry if you want to on queue those you can if you want to leave them out you can as well and then we want to on queue the fancy box scripts. So that's that file that we just created now that identifies the selectors to target for fancy box. So again, it's in the style sheet in the JS folder in the fancy box folder. And that file we gave a name of fancy box scripts.js. And in this one, we don't want to load this file until we've loaded jQuery and until we've loaded fancy box. So fancy box being the actual main fancy box script. So once you've created that function in your functions.php file for your child theme, okay, then you want to go ahead and save that file and then upload the functions.php file into your child theme folder. So we've uploaded our JS folder which has our fancy box folder and inside our fancy box scripts and our CSS and our images for the uh, fancy box uh, lightbox. We've uploaded our changed functions.php file which has the on queued styles and scripts. So the next step is then to test it out. So if we go back to our gallery, okay, and let's just do a full page refresh. Okay, now it doesn't look like anything's changed. What we can do is just check if the uh, fancy box scripts were loaded correctly. And to do that, we just simply view on the page source. Then we go ahead and do a search for fancy box. So there's fancy box there, that's our CSS. So that's the link that's been put into our header now using that on queue function. And if we just click on that, yep, so we can see here that there's some CSS. So if we go back and as well as our fancy box CSS. We're looking for our fancy box scripts, so we can see, there we go, there they are there. So there's the main fancy box script, so let's click on that. Yep, that looks good, let's go back. Uh, and then I put the easing and the mouse wheel scripts, but again, I said, yeah, as before, you don't have to uh, add those unless you're planning on using the transitions uh, or the changes 
uh, all the options that uh, are available with those. Uh, the fancy box scripts, that's your file that you created. So that one there looks good. So all our links seem to work. So it looks like everything's loading correctly. So let's go ahead and close that source and let's test it out. So remember before when we clicked on an image, it just took us to a blank page that had the image on it. So now let's click on the image. There you go. You can see that it's opened up in a nice light box with the dark overlay and you can just see behind the content and if we were to close that we haven't actually left our page. Now if you remember before I mentioned that we uh, applied uh, an attribute rel equals posts gallery. So what that does is it allows us to click on an image and actually scroll through the gallery just inside the light box itself rather than having to close each one down to then open. So you can see that if we uh, inspect the element Right, and you can see here that uh, the rel equals post gallery has been applied to this A. So if we were to then inspect this element here, you can see that the rel equals posts gallery has also been applied to this A, so this link. And so each one of these has been uh, effectively linked together in the light box so that you can scroll. So that was the purpose of adding the attribute rel equals post gallery. So that's how you go ahead and set up FancyBox on your website. So that, and how you configure it so that you can actually uh, view your WordPress gallery inside the light box. If you'd like to change uh, the overlay or change some of the effects then what you do is you simply go through to the fancybox.net page and have a look at the uh, API and options and actually go through the options and, and have a play and they, uh, they're in pairs so you have a, a key and a value and there are default values so if you go uh, back here you can see you have the key and then you have your value key, value, key, value and so forth and so that allows you to then customize the uh, FancyBox script, uh, how it works on your website. Now just a, a quick note uh, before we end the video. I put down two selectors here. I put down the A FancyBox selector as well. And the reason for that was uh, it allows you to target the uh, images on any post or page. So for example, we've got our gallery set up here, but perhaps uh, we'd like to add just a separate image on a page. So we might not have a, a gallery, we might just have, we we'll get that rid of that, we might just decide to add an, a couple of images to our page. So we might add this image here, so let's insert that, and uh, you might have some uh, text content. So these could be a bunch of pictures and you want to talk about them. Um, so let's just put the text content, we'll just simply that there okay and we might add another image so let's say this time we chose this image here so we'll insert that into the post as well okay so we've got to add our two images to the page now if we go ahead and preview that okay so you can see we've got our images we've got our text content if we click on an image again it links to a separate page just with the image and so then we have to use the back button so what we want to do is have that open up in the light box. And so that's what that uh, fancy box class applied to the links is there for. So that you can actually then simply give your link, image link, a class of fancy box. So we give it a link, class of fancy box and a class here. A fancy box and we'll now go ahead and preview our page okay so it looks the same but now when we click on an image it opens up the image in the light box again the images are linked because of the rel equals post gallery attribute and we have these images here when we close off the image after the person has looked at them 
we're still on the same page so we don't have to worry about opening up a separate page and then going back button and so forth so that's the advantage of using the light box for your images if you if it's uh, appropriate for them to be opened up on uh, on your um, inside a light box so if it's just an image in a post you probably wouldn't use it but if you're having a few images and you want to link it to a larger image you might find it quite useful <laughs>